but I'm at the library. And I'm gonna sneak up on Sophie and scare the living daylights out of her. Good morning! I love saying good morning to you guys. I can't even believe it. And also, before I start today's vlog, I want to tell you guys that we are this close to 1,500 subscribers. It seems like just yesterday we hit 1,000 subscribers and now we're like on the verge of hitting 1,500. I blows my mind. It blows my mind. And you guys, you know, everybody always says, oh, we love you guys. And it just doesn't seem real. It never seems real to me when other people say it when we're watching their uh, vlogs and you have no idea what happens when you do videos, when you do vlogs. Your community, they become part of your heart. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. When Sophia, Sophia says, we love you guys, we totally love you guys. It's just bizarre. Anyway, girls are still sleeping, Sam's gone to work, that's why I'm whispering. My hands are blue. Anyway, I wanted to take this time, this second before chaos happens, to show you my happy planner and what I've been doing with it. So most of you, or some of you guys know that I have this happy planner and it makes me happy. Anyway, so this is what's new. This is what's new. So this is what you do with your happy planner. You decorate pages while you write in all the things that you need to do. This is my October month. I just jot everything in here as it comes up. And then as I decorate my pages, I'm able to transfer them over to these days. So this is this week and it's still not completely decorated. What I wanted to show you was this. I was able to get this family meal planner online and I printed it out and I had to cut it down to fit my happy planner. Anyway, I'm super excited about it. So I can literally plan on my month of meals, like two of each, and then plan out them weekly. And then I can do bi-weekly. And then I also have my dashboard here. I also have, look at how cute, I love this week. Anyway, I also have recipe cards and I also have shopping lists. And they're just pretty and beautiful and easy to work and I'm so super excited. I have like five zillion projects on the go. I have some homeschool stuff on the go. I wanna get this. Um, this meal planning stuff on the go. I have just so much stuff on the go. I have Sophia's birthday coming up. I have lots more fun stuff happening this weekend. But anyway, that's all I just wanted to share with you. Some of the fun stuff that I'm into that maybe you're into. And if you are into it, I can show you more of it as I get going. But yeah, that's it. So I'll see you again when the girls wake up. All right, we are standing here together in Gabby's room. <laughs> what are you doing? Can't reach the light. Anyway. It's dark and dreary outside <laughs> because it's a stormy day. Anyway, we got to show some, we want to show you something super cool. And to do it, we are going to go into the deep, dark closet. Maybe it won't do it. All right, make room. All right, you guys, get ready. The, the light's about to go out. Look at, can you see them? Can you see it? I can't see it. I can see it. I can't see it. Where is it? Right here, can you guys see this? I don't think they can see it. But the longer that you put them in um, light, the longer they glow. Yeah, all right, let's go out. So basically we got some glow in the dark and nail polish. But you could hardly see it. Look. Yeah, you can't even see it on there. And it works amazing. Last night, Sophia put it on me yesterday when we were outside. Last night I went pee and I reached for the toilet paper, it's dark in there. And I was like, ah! That. I thought it was like a bug or electricity or something, but it's just my fingers. I like it. Turkey noodle soup on the go. I'm so glad Gabby loves turkey broth or chicken broth because it's so good for you. And literally she's salivating because she can smell the soup. What are you doing? Oh, she's trying to make them glow. That's our ottoman in the daytime. Does it look nice? Whoa. I, I'm not sure if I'm in love with the color, but I do kind of like it. <laughs> Gray and browns and tans from our rug, they actually go together. I'm going to get some new curtains, some gray curtains for there, some gray curtains for over there. 
And oh, don't no. tell Sam though. Then we got some new buckets for over here. For this big, huge mess yeah, of uh, overflowing. Yeah, I gotta be just too many. Cares. Yeah. So what happens when you get big? Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. Just to kind of tie it all together. Maybe get a gray rug for here instead of a brown rug. Don't have a heart attack, Sam. I just need to. I'm just in the mood for redecorating. All right, so this is what I have on the agenda today. These are the two things I'm trying to implement today. So first of all, I want to make a book bucket. So just something maybe I can put over there. Something that we can put all of our library books in and all the books that I want us to read for the week in So and choices that the girls can have for silent reading so they don't have to go in the playroom and find something on the shelf. They can never find it. So that's number one on the agenda and we're going to the library today so that will help. And number two is this bad boy. So uh, basically from day one, from September, this is what we've been using. We've been using these file folders. I fill them every day with the work, the independent work that I want them to do, right? So then every morning I give them their folder and away we are. And so while they're doing that work, I sit here and I fill it up again for the next day, for the next day's work. But then I'm always like so busy while they're busy and I just don't ever have time to do anything else. So this is my idea. Actually, I stole it from like a lot of people on YouTube, so it's not really my idea. What the plan is, is to take these file folders and number them from day one all the way to whatever day we finish, right? Anyway, in each day's file, so this is today's, they will have a folder. So let's see here if I can figure it out. So here's Sophia's purple file. So she'll come in here today and she'll pick up this file and inside this file are all the things that she needs to do her independent work all by herself today. So there's this, there's more papers behind here, and then there's her Canada workbook. This is where we're learning about Canada. Today we're continuing on with Manitoba. And she'll do that work. I also taped these letters and numbers on the front front of her folder because she's still having trouble writing letters and numbers backwards. And I think it's because of the way the school system changed, they don't really write as much as they used to write in school in grade one, especially. And um, she doesn't really not have enough practice yet. So I think that it'll clear itself up, but I put them there and she yeah, does I use it. Them back, yeah, and you do use this, right? Yeah, so she has been using this and it's really made a big difference. And here is Gabby's folder. It's a different color. I'm gonna obviously have to go get some new folders because she's not gonna wanna have just a clear cream colored folder when she could typically have pink or some blue or something. Yeah, so my plan is to work diligently in the next couple of weeks and to fill this thing up so that they have all their work set out every day for the whole rest of the year. Isn't that amazing? Life changing. I'll literally have so much time to paint my nails, curl my hair. Things are gonna change around here. All right, so we are moving along. I just wanted to show you what happens when you take a bunch of books that you already have in your house and you put them in a book basket and you make them easily accessible. They are ch checking out the books, right? So yeah, right in the middle, I'm just getting some organizing done, moving us on to the next subject. And then I, they were alone for a second and I found them right over here. So all I did was get a basket out of the attic and put a bunch of books that have been sitting lost on the shelf. Like who knew we had this sleepover squad? Like, got that from, yeah, I got that like from Sophie, wouldn't you love teacher. to read that? Um, the Great Pony you. Hassle, like that's a it's good like book. A... Lots, and I want to read Big Red to the girls. I want to read it to them, and I want to read Gentle Ben because these are the kind of books that my girls like. And then at the back, I have a bunch of non-fiction books that they love. They're all mine. <laughs> yeah, they're all amazing horse books. All right, you guys, we are just about to end for the day. Girls still need to do a reading, and we read together. We read three times a day now. Anyway, it's just about noon. We're having lunch. I've got my cup of soup. Doesn't that look so good? Wait, let's make sure you guys can see it. Doesn't that look so good? Chicken and rice soup. Mm -mm, so good. Anyway. Um, I just wanted to show you our... I had to put a rock in it. Okay, that's good. To make so it. look what Gabby made. We all made one, actually. Right. Our, mine and Sophia's are not done yet. Gabby just did hers, Gosh, her own. Sorry. Just wait, I want to show them the leaves on it. Anyway, so this is her thankful pumpkin. She's got a little candle in there. Isn't it adorable? And a rock to make it stay down. So 
that a yeah it's adorable she put it together all herself we did it we we found it on Pinterest and then we made that craft and I know it's more for Thanksgiving and we just didn't have time to do it before Thanksgiving but I wanted to yours? do it I thought it would be an awesome oh, decoration nice. and it totally is <gasps> oh my goodness no who put crumbs on our newly covered ottoman Sophia uh, Sophia did it I'm at the library and scare the living daylights out of her. Here we go. Boo! Stop! Oh, I didn't scare you. Too bad. Too much for that. That was pitiful. Okay, what books do we got? Anything good? Three books. Only three books your mom said, right? Two books, she said. That one looks Two like books? score. That one Two looks books. like... Buddy, look it. Oh, you got a book on rats, and you got a book on cats. Chihuahuas? Daddy. Huskies? That one totally looks like Buddy. Oh, that, that one looks... totally looks like Score. Yeah, weird, eh? Um... Sophie picked out this really good book. Animal Hospital Rescuing Urban Wildlife. Oh, Dad, here's another one that I already wildlife. read, and I read. Like, oh, that's it. the other book? You already read that one? Yeah, it's so sad. But this book will come in handy probably. We're gonna have to read this and see what happens if we find a, a possum. Yeah, right, look, we're gonna find a possum. <gasps> or a wolf. Or a fox. Or those are squirrels. Baby squirrel. See? Look at Baby bird. Wild orphan baby. Oh, you got a book too. Cool. So we got this awesome book here. Look at that. A mouse. Why do you want to keep a mouse? Killer cats. Gabby and I just raided the sticker box at the library. You're only allowed one, and we got she got three, and I got two. But we couldn't resist because look. All right. So this is the one that she picked for me. It's like a younger, beautiful, skinny me with my boy Toby. And then I, we got this one for Sophie because it's like Sophie on her horse. And then Gabby got this one. These are like Barbie stickers. This one. And this one. Good. All right, you guys, see these chocolate bars? Did we get those? We are going to get these chocolate bars, the whole bag, as an incentive, a homeschool incentive. I'll show you more when we get home. What are those? That's prune juice. Is that prune juice? You want prune cocktail? Chocolate lovers, come with me. Wait, what? What is that? That's prunes. Do you want to try prune juice? Yes. It makes you poop. Yeah. Oh. Chocolate lovers. I hate chocolate. That kind of chocolate. Then get that. Yeah, I love. I love cheesecake. We lost dad. We lost dad in the store. One more store, and then we're headed home. Let's look at all the candy. Cause candy is my favorite. Jelly beans. <gasps> Whoa, that's crazy. I want it. I want it. I want it. There's no way. <laughs> okay, so Gabby just walked over and gave me this thing. She just passed it to me, so I assumed it must be something super yummy because she obviously wants it's it. Gluten free. And she brought it over to me because it says gluten free on it. Gluten free. Black Royal Quinoa. Black yeah. Royal Quinoa. Do you even know what quinoa is? Oh, look at oh, your hair. Look. Mom, what Does it look cool in the camera? Yeah. Oh, what streaky. Is? Another successful homeschool day down the drain, and I love it. I'm absolutely loving homeschool. Um, today at the school that my kids went to last year, all the schools in this area were in lockdown. They were in lockdown because something bad was happening in the city, and they didn't want the kids to see or to know about it and they were late getting home they were 30 minutes late getting home literally imagine knowing something bad was happening close to your kid's school your kids are locked in you can't get in they can't get out traffic was stopped i just want my kids to be with me and be safe i don't know it bothers me how that happened anyway it is freezing outside that warm break that we had is over it is going to be down to frost we're getting frost tonight it's going to go down to plus one one degree above zero that's like winter weather you guys all the leaves i melched up yesterday gone 
they're all back again. Anyway, I'm gonna end today's vlog and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.